Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another session of Be More, where we try to inspire you to be a little bit more of every role within the Salesforce ecosystem. And today is a very special episode we've, we've got in store for you right now uh, with the amazing uh, Tracy Green. And today's focus area is a little bit unconventional. We're, we're not perhaps thinking about admins or project managers. We're kind of thinking of people as, as human beings. And the theme for today's session is be more inclusive. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Tracy to introduce herself. All right. Hi, my name is Tracy Green. I'm actually um, non-binary. So my pronouns are Tracy and they. If you use, use she, use Tracy. If you use her, use they. And if you're going to call me ma'am, please call me captain. I really appreciate that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and for me, my, my pronouns are uh, he, she, they, them. So I, I personally kind of feel like pronouns are a little bit irrelevant now. Uh, <laughs> I think ex exactly right, right? That's what we're here to talk about. Like it is, like it's just... I, I kind of feel like that's definitely a world that I want to live in where where pronouns are kind of irrelevant, eradicated. There's no real need for them, really. Um, and ultimately, it would be great as well to, to have a role or a world, really, where we wouldn't really need to talk about being more inclusive. What 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 do you think about that? Absolutely. I mean, I, I definitely it's definitely gotten better. So let's just kind of let's kind of give people credit where credit is due. Yeah. I definitely think right, it's twenty twenty three. People are definitely more inclusive, but we still have so much further to go. Like there mm. should just we we have to, we shouldn't have this conversation, right? Like it should yeah. just be my pronouns are Tracy. Just call me Tracy. I don't have to explain it. I don't have to like do my little captain thing. The reason yeah. why I do captain is because people cannot get they or Tracy, but people can say captain. Why, why can people say captain and not Tracy? Like, it's so interesting because it's catchy, right? Like they have to have some kind mm. of gimmick and it kind of makes me feel like I'm a little bit of a gimmick. And it's like, no, like, you know what I mean? I'm a person and it's interesting because I've been non-binary, you know, I think I came out as non-binary maybe three years ago, but when, before that, like when I came out non-binary for my friends, they all said, they're like, Tracy, your pronouns been Tracy for like, as long as I've known you, right? Because I, <laughs> I, I worked at, you know, for marriage equality here in the US, I was really active in, you know, going door to door. So every time we had like a, a canvas, we, we introduced ourselves and say our pronouns. And yeah. I just said Tracy every single time. And I completely yeah. forgot that. It's just this natural <laughs> thing. So my friends are like, we've been calling you Tracy this whole time. So they've got it. So hopefully the whole world can kind of catch on. Yeah, well, let's, here's to hoping at, at least. Yes. Um, so let's try to, it's kind of a Salesforce orientated podcast. Let's bring Salesforce back into the conversation a little bit. All right. What, what's your, your your day job, um, really? And, and how does that work day to day? I believe you're an architect. Is that right? That's correct. I'm a solicitor architect. And right now I'm actually an architect for hire. So I actually have, I'm independent consultant. So oh. day to day, right? So right now, and I kind of did that a little bit because of the inclusivity, like, right, working for companies, like it, it kind of, you know, it kind of happened where I became the token, right, mm -hmm. right, token person. So I remember the last company I worked at, uh, the the uh, DEI, you know, person said, oh, I want to meet with you. I have so many things to like talk to you about. And I'm like, oh, they're going to ask me to like, whatever, what, all, like, you know, all the things. And, and she literally said, oh, you're our first day. I'm really excited. And I was like, I'm just Tracy. Like, let me just be Tracy. And so I think my day-to-day -day roles, I'm really lucky that I can, I work for myself and so I can choose my clients. And I've never had a problem in any company with my clients. Like I've, mm -hmm. I work with really like conservative clients. And if you yeah. can see, right, I have tattoos, I have a mohawk, right? And so like, I just am accepted. And I think that I really love that about the Salesforce ecosystem that I came in here. And I think for that, for the ecosystem, it really is inclusive as far as we can look different. We can like, we're not all the same. Like I'm neurodivergent. I have so many things about me and the Salesforce ecosystem really like accepts that. And so for my role, right, I'm an architect. So I, you know, I, I work with other like project managers. I work with end users. I work with developers. And so yeah. we all have to get along. And so I think, you know, to set it up in the beginning, like I just really introduced myself and I, I, we kind of talked about this off the camera, but like, I'm Tracy, right? And then it's like, I'm, I'm an architect. I'm like, right, I'm a, I have a dog. I have so many yeah. things, right? And so all down here, and then it's like, okay, I'm also, right, masculine percenti, right? So it's like so many different things. And I'm non-binary, but it's like, it's down here. And so by having it down here, we don't really have to, like, it kind of becomes this thing where we don't have to talk about. So I'm really lucky. And I'm, 
I am so grateful and I've never taken for granted that I live in a situation and I can present myself in a way that other people can't. So I've been like, right, I've been out for over half my life now. So I've already, you know, gone that. And so it's really hard for someone who's newly out or like hasn't had the you know, experience. They go to a company and they can't be themselves. I have so many people where I've started companies and they've like put time on my calendar. Cause they're like, oh, they're like, I'm so scared to tell people what my pronouns are or what my identity is. And that's like, right. That's just silly that people are still afraid of like being themselves. And so I think that's where we have to like move the Salesforce conversation. Cause it's just, it's kind of unspoken, right? It's cause it's, it's really these large, these large partners that people kind of just get hit like right, they can hide. And the more you can hide, the more we're not inclusive. Yeah. No, definitely. I think I, I definitely relate to to parts of that, like the whole token thing. I definitely kind of felt that a little bit myself as well. And it kind of feels like I'm being held up on a pedestal for certain things. Yes. Or automatically like doing certain things just because yes. a very small part of who I am. And, and you know what? We all believe Salesforce, right? And at the end yeah. of the day, we all believe Salesforce. <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely. I, I kind of feel like sometimes if I was to pop a vein open or something like falling <laughs> over, it would it would run blue sometimes. It would blue absolutely. Yeah. We all have blue. We all we all have blue blood. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's definitely it kind of feels like family. And it's it's corny to say that because obviously that's part of Salesforce's messaging as well. Mm-hmm. But it is truly like that because without that, like people like me and you wouldn't know each other right exactly conversation right now yeah because we kind of talked about right we kind of talked about all the other people that you've had on and how they're connected and we like right all the other people like we're completely all in different roles we're all different like parts of the country but everyone you said i I knew i have a a relationship with every person that's been on this your name comes up i knew who you were right i knew (laughs) like i knew exactly you were when you messaged me right because you're part of the community right even though we never spoken I still was aware of you and you were aware of me. And I think that's what's so cool about the Salesforce ecosystem. Yeah, and geography is just a physical barrier. It's it, nowadays, like you don't really need geography to Mm-mm. with somebody or or kind of help or, or influence somebody. So that's, that's kind of why like this content is being made in the first place, because that's what I'm aiming to do here. So if you were thinking about perhaps somebody that's maybe struggling to be inclusive, what like advice would you give? And maybe yes. you split into two, like as a person and also as a mm-hmm. company, because they're different. Right? Yes, yes. Right. As a company, the one thing that I tell every company or every conference I go to is pronouns should be required for everybody. So if everyone had their pronouns, it wouldn't be odd for me to have to introduce myself every single time that I'm the only one using my pronouns, right? That's inclusive, right? If you said, right, you said your pronouns, if everyone around the room or put it like, you can see it on my Zoom, if everyone had their pronouns everywhere and it's not like optional, everybody should have it. That's what's inclusive. That's what makes us feel different. Like for me, I have to, every single time, every single meeting I go to, I have to introduce myself with my pronouns because, right, it's new and people have to get it. And, you know, I give people grace, but like if, if it was just this thing that everyone did, then it'll be more inclusive. So Dreamforce, the community conferences, just have the pronouns be required, not optional. Yeah, so I think they've made kind of steps forward with that this year. I'm not sure if it's the first year, but there was definitely a facility for me to provide my pronouns. But if I want to- If you want, that's the thing, right? That's, we've we've taken a few steps, right? If you want to, but it's still not inclusive because it still separates us. All you can do is write he, she, or they not other right so mine is tracy because that's i'm a person and that's what i am so i'm just tracy that's it took me a long time to come out as non-binary because i they really actually doesn't really even fit for me it's really tracy but like Mm. you know he and she doesn't so it's like this thing what do i do i had to figure out how do i fit into this into this world and so if you had other and again like it'd just be this inclusive where i didn't have to explain it every single time and it's like again i didn't have to say captain because people can't say they Right. It's just that simple. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a bit, I guess, demeaning in a way because you make it into a joke, right? It's not it's exactly. Joke. It's exactly right. It's like, right. I joke about it. I say, Captain, everyone laughs. I'm actually, st- uh, weirdly enough, I'm actually doing a stand up comedy class right now. And I <laughs> introduce myself as Captain. And, the, and my teacher's like, oh my God, like that's the best joke you have. And I'm like, 
Well, it's not really a joke, right? Yeah. That's who I am. Like, I have to say captain because people cannot say Tracy or they. So like, yes, I know it has a little bit of a gimmick and people will remember it, but right. Why can they remember captain and not really get my pronouns? So it kind of does make it a joke. You're exactly right. I guess a necessary in the current situation we find ourselves in, right? It's not mm-hmm. ideal. It's not where we want to be. Right. Uh, but I guess translates for people maybe in 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 some kind of way right yes yes absolutely it you know it, it does it gives them you know i guess it's an entry where you kind of talk about that where we have to meet people where they are and so like maybe that's how i can kind of reframe it where i'm just meeting people where they are and then right okay they can do captain now so hopefully right we go, we go forward go forward and they're just kind of that would just kind of be like the side note yeah no no definitely so in terms of interactions with with other people to feel kind of more inclusive what type of language or communication techniques kind of help with that yes yes definitely it it goes right it's the same kind of thing with individuals right I you know and I know it's it's new I know that pronouns are new for people but like some people just don't care which is so interesting like they're like oh pronouns like we don't care about them like oh well you like if I started calling you he and you're a she like you're gonna care about it all of a sudden So I think it's just more like just more compassion. And it's just one of those things where it's really hard because I, you know, people meet me, I tell my pronouns and they forget my pronouns. And then all of a sudden, like, right, I'll be with someone. And like the fifth time I'm like, okay, I have to correct you. And so it's this thing of like, let me correct you because it's like, right, everyone gets grace, but don't apologize profusely. People send me emails, apologize and just say, you know, sorry, and just get it right the next time. That's all I ask of people is like, okay, you misgendered me. I'm going to correct you gently. And you're just going to say, okay, sorry. And then you're just going to use the correct pronoun. Instead of this whole big thing where people get so worked up and it's all about them, right? And, and completely against me. And then I'm like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. And you have to do this little dance. Like, yeah. don't do that. Just say, right, sorry, and move on and just get it right the next time. And what about when you're communicating with people on email or Slack or, or DM? Like, yes. How would you represent yourself there? Yeah, so it's it's this thing, right? Everywhere my name is, so I have to put my name. So you have everyone has gets their name on like like Sally, Jane. Mine's always gonna be Tracy with my pronouns on it because that's the only way I can do it. I have to do it for myself. Like there's not like right, there's not this thing where it's just this natural thing. If ever again, if everyone had their pronouns next to their name, it wouldn't be so my name wouldn't be so long that it gets cut off, right? Everywhere mm-hmm. in my email and Slack on Zoom, I have to add my pronouns. And that gets a little tiring. I understand that it's new, but it's like, and then if I do it, people still don't read it. So it's just this thing where I have to, you know, completely re- remind people. And it's exhausting sometimes. I, again, like I'm here to give you grace, but you're like, how many times can I hear like she or, and p- someone asked me, it's very interesting. A friend of mine asked me when uh, she actually was a friend, she's a, you know, a female goes by she, and she said, Tracy, what does it feel like when I misgender you? And I said to her, my insides burn. Every time that you say the wrong pronoun, my insides, and she's like, oh my God, I don't want to do that. Mm. And so she completely got it. Like thinking about me as a human being and what it means for her, it, it takes a little, right. It, for her, it's like, okay, I have to adjust and I have to do it. And you know, every time I do it, I can just gently correct myself. So it's just like, right. Making that effort and understanding like what it is. It's not just an accident like what how does it affect me or whoever you're talking to like we talk about right like it's presenting yourself and like this mis you know this misgendering like what does it do like like you said like I said like my insides actually burn and so I could be in a meeting and like burn 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 and then you know I have to be like when do I interrupt the conversation and correct somebody right or through email yeah. like right like mm-hmm. how many times can I just like let it slide like can I just let it slide do I let it slide or do I you know, correct them. And, you know, if you read articles, they say you should correct it every time, right? That's what the mm-hmm. articles say. In theory, like, how am I supposed to, like, interrupt every meeting or every email, right? I, I do it when someone does it, like, four or five times, and then other people start picking it up. That's when I have to stop it, because, like, then it just becomes this domino effect. Then I, it cascades. So I'm like, hold on, hold on. Like, let's not pass that around. But it is, it gets exhausting. I will say that, right? Where I have to choose to be myself or let someone just misgender me. And like, you know, you can't do it all the time, right? So just, if people just were aware of how it made us feel, mm. when we're not, it's like, right, we're not included. It's inclusive, right? It's very 
like not, I feel very othered. And that's the last thing I want to do, right? As, as a community, right? LGBTQ plus community, we've been othered. That's our story. And so when we're not included, it just keeps getting othered and othered and othered. And it's like, you know, as much as like, I get, I feel so loved by this community. Like this community is beautiful. It's just a small things that people are just not thinking about. And again, it's just not on people's radars because it doesn't affect them. Uh, I think that's, that's great advice. And do you have any examples of somewhere where it's been done in a good way? Yes, absolutely. I, um, I was working at a company and, um, I gave my pronouns and every time someone misgendered me, one of my colleagues would, would chat them in Slack and correct them. So I didn't have to correct them. And so that's really what we need as allies, right? So mm. if you corrected someone like we're, we're out, right? And so I'm not there, someone corrects it. And then that's how, that's how change gets happened. Having an ally, like having someone else correct someone is the best thing. Like if I don't have to do it and someone's like, hey, you know, actually that's Tracy's pronouns, that's not she. And so I think that's the best way that I've seen people handle it where they've just, allies have just taken care of it and I can just sit back and like be myself. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's that's where like AI can potentially help because- Oh, interesting. It, you know, and and I, I I don't know what the future holds, you know, I haven't quite yet mastered the the art of predicting the future, even though I'm sure you can relate as an architect, it would be great to be able to know the future. <laughs> Wouldn't it though? My crystal ball you know? is a little fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I'm not seeing things very clearly right now. Um, but yeah, I think that maybe that there's a potential use for it there. And do, do you think that something like that in terms of identification and, and things like that should be a, a free from? Absolutely. Because yeah. again, right? Because it's like, again, it goes back to like right binary, like one or zero. Okay, great. Now we're like, okay, now there's a third option. And then you're like, okay, now we're just going to like, right, close it off. Like it should just be open, right? Because it could be anything. Yeah. Anyone can have any pronouns, right? Like it's just interesting. Like your pronouns, like, right? You can't, there's not like a spot for all your pronouns, right? Like you have to like pick one or two. So you can't put in there, right? Like your pronouns. So just again, othered. How othering mm -hmm. is that? When you have to hit other? Yeah, you, you, you're kind of, you feel like you're singling yourself out by yes. choice, really. Exactly. I'm like, okay, yeah. why do I like, just give me like, just let me enter it. Like, right. And so, and I think that's where AI could come in or something like, so I could enter they with a capital T H and like, okay, mm. like some kind of program that can like say, okay, if it's like, you know, like it's they, whatever it is, you can, you can, you know, fix the spelling, whatever it is on the other side. Cause you know what yeah. people are so afraid of, of like free form, people are so afraid of free form because you can't control it. Right. And like, this yeah. is something you can't control. Like, like, again, we went from binary, like he, she, then like, okay, great. You have they, them, you know, they, mm -hmm. theirs, whatever. But again, then you have like, it's just, that's not the only, right. There's Z, there's so many pronouns people have. I mean, it's, mm. it's, it's completely, and it's very, very unique to the person, right? Like it's very, what's, what works for me does not work for the next person. And you just have to ask them. And I think that's the key is asking someone what their pronouns are. Yeah. No matter what, who they are or what they look like, just ask everybody, when you meet someone, what are your pronouns? That is inclusive. What about just touching on the LGBTQIA plus community? Because there are other elements to this, right? Like, for Absolutely. example, picking on the L or the G, like if somebody yes. says to me, how is my girlfriend? Yes. That, that similar thing, right? How do Absolutely. you do that? Well, it's interesting because um, the person I'm dating, like, well, we kind of said, okay, she's like, how do I introduce you? You're not my girlfriend, not my boyfriend. So we literally had to go on the internet and like, look at all the things. It's like, okay, beloved, all these things, like, you know, par and partner just uh -huh. feels like, it just feels so business-like, right? And so mm -hmm. we're like, hey, we're each other's person. So that fits for us, right? Yeah, we're, we're like, hey, <laughs> this is my person. But because again, we had to figure it out, right? Because society is not set up for us. And so, right, for the, the whole alphabet is the same kind of thing. And again, like, I've been othered out for that, too. Like, the DEI, I show up to any company and people are like, oh, thank God we have someone who represents us. Like, I've been the token for so many companies. And when it comes to Pride Month, they're like, oh, Tracy, can yeah. you, like, present something? Or I was at one company, and I literally was there three days. And we had, it was Pride Month, and they had someone come in and do a presentation and they just mangled it so i had to come off mute no one it's like 300 people no one knows me i'm like yeah oh that's not correct 
that's not correct. Here's the correct thing. I had to correct them. And I was like, and then all of a sudden, everyone's like, oh, thank God you're here, right? We need someone to represent us. But you're like, okay, someone should have checked that before that went out. So it's hmm. just, again, right, this having to be able to speak up, which not everyone could. I'm just very grateful that I have, so, I don't know why, but I'm able to speak up in those situations. Like, I'm just like, right, three days in, no one knows me. And I'm like, oh, I can't sit here. Because I, I, like, it was like one mistake, one mistake. And I was like, 300 people are being misinformed right now. How can I mm-hmm. let that happen? And so I had, like, you have to make those decisions. But again, like, right, it's it's the emotional labor, they call it, right? It's emotional labor on me to educate everyone else, which I don't, I don't mind. I actually have training in it. So I actually, that's why I can do it, like, probably better than others. But it's this thing, right? Like, do it once, look it up, ask your friend. Like, you don't have to ask us everything. Like, you can ask somebody else. And, you know, right, make the effort. And I think that's where the inclusivity comes in, where it's just, like, as an alphabet, I just come on alphabet, right? Because, like, you know, yeah. anyone part of the alphabet, like we have to, like, we have to question every time I get a job, every time I go to an interview, I was like, okay, like, who am I have to deal with? How to like, write? Okay, I, 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 I present masculinity, right? I'm not going to change that. So I don't want to work for a company who doesn't want that. So I'm always grateful. If I get a sense that I'm not wanted, I, I just go somewhere else. But I'm very lucky that I can do that. Someone else who is not quite where I am, they have to like perform, right? They have to put that mask on and they can't tell people they do the whole thing where people are talking about their weekend and they have to like, you know, secretive about who their, who their, Mm -hmm. you know, partner is. And I've done it before where I've like, you know, everyone's talking back, you know, obviously, I I mean, I've been out for more than half my life. So I've kind of, you know, have a lot of experience, but when I was younger, like I didn't like write, go to work. I wasn't able to talk about my life. I, I actually made up a whole, a whole scenario so I can kind of fit in. And that's just like, right, that's sad to have to do that. And it's, people are still doing that today. So we kind of want a, wor- a world where I can walk into any room and not have to worry about who's going to accept me. I think that that's a really great point. And I think that's a great kind of thing to conclude on, really. Unfortunately, we're, we're almost at time for this session. So are there any kind of parting thoughts or words in terms of how people can connect with you and, and be yes. inspired more to be more inclusive? Absolutely. Anyone can reach me on LinkedIn or Twitter. My handle is my first name, Tracy, my middle name, Aaron, which is E-R-I-N, and my last name, Green, which is G-R-E-E-N-E. So they're all, my handle is the same thing on LinkedIn and on Twitter. And that's really where you can find me. Okay, perfect. Well, thanks again for your for your time today. And thanks for sharing your, your wisdom in terms of being more inclusive. Thanks. Well, I appreciate the, the time. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to Be More with Tom Bassett. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave any feedback in the comments.